what happened to you in terms of the injury that you suffered? What changed me? No, I, I guess, let me ask it again. What part of your brain did you injure? What was the nature of your um, It was um, a lot of axonal shearing, but it was the frontal lobe um, damage that um, it didn't bruise, but it cracked, you know, my head a little bit. Um, but the damage, which really didn't seem significant, ended up being pretty significant over time. So you had, uh, did you have a skull fracture when you said yeah. correct? And you had a, a, a gash? A, an a gash, yeah, it was small, but... Um, um, did they do brain surgery? Not really, no. Yeah, they didn't, I don't, they would have flown me to Seattle to do that. So tell me, I know that you don't remember, but tell me what um, actually happened to you in the 24 or 48 hours after the wreck. Um, basically, it's just life support, you know, keeping me stable. Um, you were um, rural Eastern Washington at the time? Correct. And I went to Sacred Heart. Did they bring a, did they take you by ambulance or? Yeah, ambulance you know? is faster than that. So you went by ambulance to Sacred Heart. Um, what did they do the first 24 hours at Sacred Heart? Stop the bleeding, um, you know, put some stitches in. Um, they didn't suspect that it would be as serious as it would be, but you know, I, I was in and out of consciousness for a good month. Um, seizures, you know, little seizures. They never called them seizures until a year and a half later when I saw a specialist. Um, and um, then the problem started about six months after that. You were hospitalized for how long? I was in and out for six weeks. You know, I, I, I would come out um, at three weeks and then I'd back in because I just I couldn't stay stable. From the day of the accident going three, 21 days essentially, you were in the hospital? Correct. And in the ICU for most of that? Um, just the first week, you know, because I was, I was pretty stable. I was pretty healthy back then, so, you know, healthier than I am now. <laughs> well, you're still in good shape, um, but you were, were you an athlete at the time? I, I, I exercised, no, but I was pretty active. And so, you were in and out of consciousness, but not ever in a deep coma then? No. Um, do you know what your Glasgow coma scale was? It was high, and then they said it was high. It was, they, called, they called it a severe brain injury based on the Glasgow coma. Well, the Glasgow coma scale is rated three to 15, so when you say high, it would. They, they were at 11, I think. It was 11. There, yeah, so it was pretty high, they said. Yeah, it's relatively high for a severe brain injury, but you know, it's certainly far from normal, which would, even 15 isn't, normal, isn't necessarily normal. 